everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect vanilla cake. This recipe is easy peasy, soft and moist and perfect for just about any occasion. It's the ultimate birthday cake. And I want some cake, so let's get started. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit with the rack in the center of the oven. Now we're gonna butter two nine inch non-stick cake pans. Using a pastry brush or your hands, butter the sides and bottom of the pans. Next, dust the insides of the pans with flour, tapping out the excess. Buttering and flouring the pans will ensure that the cake layers release easily once they're baked. Set your prepared pans aside and onto the cake batter. In a medium bowl, whisk together two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Set those aside. Now in a large mixing bowl, beat together one cup of unsalted butter with one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Beat that on medium high speed for five minutes or until the mixture is thick and fluffy and scrape down the bowl as needed. Next, add the eggs one at a time, beating well with each addition. We're gonna add a total of four large room temperature eggs. Just make sure each egg is well incorporated before adding the next one. Next, add four teaspoons of real vanilla extract. And we're using a homemade vanilla. I will link to this in the notes. It's super easy to make with just two ingredients. Beat just until the vanilla is combined, then reduce the mixer to medium speed and add your flour mixture in thirds, alternating with the one cup of room temperature buttermilk. You want to mix to incorporate with each addition and scrape down the bowl as needed, then beat until everything is just combined and smooth. If you used room temperature ingredients, the batter should be thick and smooth. If it looks grainy, continue beating for another 30 seconds or until it's smooth. Now divide your batter evenly between your prepared cake pans and I like to use a kitchen scale to ensure that my layers are even. Our kitchen scale is one of our best used tools for baking and I will link to the one I have in the notes. I like to get every drop of that yummy batter. Now spread it evenly in the cake pans. We're gonna bake this in the center of a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 28 to 30 minutes. The cakes should be lightly golden in color and a toothpick inserted into the center should come out clean. Let the cakes rest in the cake pans for 10 minutes before removing them. You'll notice when it comes out of the oven, there'll be a slight dome at the top, but once the cakes have rested, they'll flatten out. Run a knife or a thin spatula around the edges of the cake. Now invert it onto a wire rack and let it cool completely to room temperature before applying frosting. You never wanna frost a warm cake or it will melt your frosting. Once your vanilla cake layers are at room temperature, you can start your frosting. To make a vanilla buttercream frosting, you'll need a stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment, and you can also use an electric hand mixer. Beat one and a half cups of unsalted room temperature butter for five minutes on high speed. It should be lightened in color and creamy. Scrape down the bowl as needed to make sure your butter is evenly blending. After five minutes, you can see the frosting is definitely lighter in color and has a whipped appearance. While the mixer is going, I'll sift together four and a half to five cups of powdered sugar. Reduce the mixer to medium low speed so you don't end up in a cloud of powdered sugar and add that powdered sugar one heaping tablespoon at a time. 
let the powdered sugar incorporate between each addition, scraping down the bowl as needed. You can add the powdered sugar to taste, adding more if you like a sweeter frosting. Now add 1 4th teaspoon of fine salt and 4 teaspoons of real vanilla extract. The frosting should be pretty thick at this point depending on how much sugar you added. To make it easier to pipe and spread, we're going to add 3 to 4 tablespoons of heavy whipping cream or milk, adding it 1 tablespoon at a time until you've reached your desired consistency. The finished frosting will be whipped and fluffy with great vanilla flavor. Now we're ready to frost that cake, and you can make this frosting ahead and the cake layers if you want to. Check out the notes in the recipe post on how to do that. Place your first room temperature cake layer onto a cake platter. Add a generous layer of frosting. I love a lot of frosting in the middle because it gives height to the cake and every bite will have a little bit of frosting on it. Cover that with your second cake layer and I like to place the bottom side up to ensure a perfectly even surface. Clear away any extra crumbs that are on your cake platter so they don't get stuck to the frosting. Now we're going to decorate the cake. There are so many ways that you can change up this frosting with different flavors and different colors, and I'll have notes in the recipe post on how to do that. This buttercream frosting is also really stable, so it pipes beautifully, but we're gonna keep it simple today and just make waves in the frosting. My taste tester back here is getting very eager for a slice of cake and I'm excited for her to try this one. Frost the top and sides of your cake and make sure you're using a generous amount of frosting in order to create those waves later. Use a paper towel to wipe away any excess frosting from the cake platter. Now I'm just using an offset spatula. You can also use the back of a teaspoon to create waves in the top and sides of the cake. I love this vintage style of decorating and now all we need is a little bit of sprinkles around the edge. Sprinkles are always fun, especially if you're making a vanilla birthday cake. Here's a quick tip, since buttercream is quite soft, if you refrigerate the cake for about 30 minutes, it'll make it easier to slice. Oh, who's excited? <laughs> Me. Okay, we are gonna do the taste test. I can't wait any longer and I have got some serious cake cravings right now. But look at how pretty this is. Nice, and then because it's been setting in the fridge for just a little bit, you don't want it to get completely firm because the buttercream will get hard in the fridge, so you wanna let it soften a little bit when it comes out of the fridge, but it's just cool enough where it's gonna be easy to slice, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, here we go. Oh, it is so soft going through. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Here we go. Okay, now take a look at these layers. Yum, super soft and moist cake and that frosting, <laughs> it's a winner. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring it down so I can do this taste test. I'm pretty excited. Okay, here we go. Big bite, lots of frosting. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> you can really taste the vanilla in here in the cake and in the frosting. That buttercream. I mean, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It is just right and so enjoyable, so satisfying. Also, you can take this entire cake and you can freeze it. Seriously. <laughs> Perfect make ahead dessert. So good, and this frosting is stable at room temperature, so it keeps really well. Great for parties. 
Really, this is the ultimate birthday cake. It is so, so yummy. And you can decorate it all kinds of ways. You can change this frosting, add different flavorings, different food colorings, because it takes those things on really well. And it's easy to pipe, it stays stable. This cake is a winner. I hope it becomes a new favorite for you. One of those go-to recipes. That's what this is. <laughs> Oh, before we go, we have another taste tester who loves cake and is super excited to get in on this taste test. Come on over. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> you want cake? Big piece or little piece? Big. Big piece. That's a silly question, huh? Oh, you want to do it yourself, huh? No. Go ahead. No. Go ahead. Oh, you got it, you got it. Look at that. <laughs> it's a really big piece. She really wants that cake. <laughs> okay, go for it, honey. Go for it. Thumbs up. You, did you notice you have frosting on your thumb? <laughs> Is that good? You love it? <laughs> Two thumbs up or one thumbs up? Show it to me, show it to me. One? Where's the other one? Come on! No, one. <laughs> oh, I hope this cake becomes a new favorite for you. It's one of those go-to recipes. It's gonna be perfect for every occasion. And we'll see you in our next video. Say bye. What, what's happening there? Bye. Were you eating without a, oh my goodness. <laughs> Things just got real. Honey, you're, <laughs> let's go clean you up. <laughs>